night. Friends and family still searching for a missing mother of two this afternoon. We're staying on top of this story, of course, and 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson is live in Van Buren County with new information this noon. Mark. Yeah, Brett, we're here at the home here off of County Road 372, and police are still searching for Amy Sue Hensley. She's 30 years old, and she was last seen here at the home at around 7.30 Monday morning by her husband, James, before he left for work. As you can see, this is a busy place here this noon as friends and family are gathering to help in the search. They've also been passing around these flyers all around town to try and give people an idea that she's missing and hopefully uh, provide some clues or spark some sort of information. Now, I also talked to the Van Buren County Sheriff's Department about an hour ago, and they tell me that they are following up on all leads right now, and they do have some leads, but as, any mis in, as in any missing persons case, they're trying to piece together the timeline to figure out exactly exactly how she may have gone missing. Here are the details that we know right now. Amy Sue Hensley was last seen by her husband, James Hensley, at this home around 7.30 Monday morning. James left for work around that time, and then he tried calling Amy from his job around 10 a.m. He was not able to get a hold of her for the next half hour, and then he drove home to find the door locked, and Amy was missing. Now, Amy did not have access to a car, and she left behind her purse and ID, and she wasn't on any medication, according to police. She didn't have any health issues, and after checking Checking around with Amy's friends and some of her family members, her husband called police around 10 p.m. to report her missing. Uh, the Sheriff's Department tell us, tells us there are no signs of any domestic violence in their marriage. And we did interview uh, James Hensley uh, last night, and he tells us this is very out of character for Amy to go missing. The couple has two sons, so again, this is a very scary situation for not only him or his family. Now, as far as what she may be wearing, she was last seen possibly with a black nylon coat with brown fur around the hood. She had on black pumas that may have had a pink stripe on it. So again, friends and family are continuing continuing the search here in Hartford for missing Amy Hensley. We're live in Hartford this noon. Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News.